Yeah, because I can't see that line. Let's try this again. <laughs> that line is gone. Come on. All right. <laughs> it's, it's really close. I got a little bit of touch-up work to do, but this is hurting my back, so I'm done for tonight. This worked out pretty good. I'm just a little bit, a little bit low, lower than the paint, so I'm going to finish this off with glazing putty. I'll take care of it because I only used like an 80 grit sandpaper to get, get to that point, so this will fill in all those little... All the lines. Still plugging away on this. It's getting close. It's getting really close now. So I'm working on this door. Um, when I cut my my steel, it's not quite fitting. So I went back to the template. I ran it again. Now I have a good fit. So this time around, what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to glue this piece of paper right to my steel plate and then I can uh, I can do some fine tuning on it with the grinder because I did go a little bit big all the way around I'm trying to get a perfect tight fit so that doesn't very well either oh this sucks okay uh, felt marker doesn't work. The paint pen will work, except that I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get bleeding on it, but whatever. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> well, better than nothing, I guess. At least I got something to work with. Well, I'm pretty much ready. I got this piece. It, it fits really nice. Yeah, you're not even gonna. Oh, there we go. Happy with this repair so far. Uh, looks like I got a good color match. Uh, it's not really noticeable. So we'll see when I get the tape off. I still have to blend the paint in. I got my piece cut. It all fits nicely. Just going to start tacking it in. The boat made a mistake. I started tacking this in before I drilled the holes for the, <coughs> the, the door latch. So that would have been bad. I, I had both those screws out. <laughs> now that it's in its... Uh, Kind of a plastic type state, not quite hard yet, but moldable. I can use a blade, and man, this just makes life easier. So this is uh, pretty good. I'll let that sit overnight. Hit it with another coat tomorrow. Unfortunately, um, my paint match is not exactly right. Really good guys there. Um, to me, it looked like it was a perfect match, but yeah, computers are smarter, so I'll take the old can, the can I got mixed back, and uh, see if we can't get a, a closer match. Uh, they are willing to uh, refund if it's not right, but, you know, I, I didn't give them exactly what they needed to get a perfect match, so I'll maybe just ask for a slight discount. Well, I hit this with uh, 60 grit on an orbital, yeah, orbital sander. I got it nice and smooth. Um, I'm just going to go in again, fill in all the low spots which there's not that many now 
Um, I don't even have to do a fine sand, but I'll maybe go to like 120 grit after I get that. And this door, these doors are just about done. I had to clean out uh, both sides. It is kind of rusting out on the inside here. I was able to get in with the grinder, shine it up. Uh, and both doors were like that. So I'm pretty much ready, I think, to apply the glue. I hope it works. This is the stuff they gave me to... Uh, to glue these panels, I went to the local uh, body shop supply store, and they they swear this will work, but then they had a disclaimer: if it doesn't work, you need a two-part system, basically an epoxy, but a special gun. Blah blah blah. Uh, this is like thirty some dollars, so it better work. Stupid hockey! How do you go from like a three nothing lead? with three minutes to go to a tie game I'm done watching hockey and it's really messing up with my uh, oh yeah we're in overtime now that's awesome stupid hockey <laughs> so I'm gonna go back to working on these doors I'm gonna keep the volume on but uh, I think I'm gonna turn the TV off because that's just ridiculous the whole thing and that's my little rant so we're gonna work with this stuff okay well i'm not gonna get too crazy with this repair i started it with 60 grits i'm gonna finish it with 60. Uh, just because it's the inside door it'll come out fine i'm just gonna finish it with uh there's a couple of spots, so I'll just finish it with glazing putty. Yeah. Where am I? Right there. I threw my first coat down. Um, I didn't primer it because I just don't need to. It's inside the door, don't care. But once I got this coat down, I can see a few teeny tiny imperfections. Again, don't really care. You know. Yeah. I thought I have to use kind of a shield here. That glue I used worked really well. Uh, so what I'm going to do now... I'm just going to hit, well, I'll just repaint the inside edge because this stuff is paintable. And my project is just about ready for the road. When I went to the body supply place, I brought this piece in to try and get a color match. And I wasn't sure. I thought maybe they could. Well, they, they did a visual and uh, it's just the shade off so I went back there and I thought well they said they need like the size of a quarter so I brought this I show it to them and they oh no we need much bigger than that like, geez what do you want me to do bring the whole door so because these are inside pieces uh, it's not enough, it's not noticeable. But I did have one part on this door that, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if you can even tell, but when I repaired this edge, I'd like it to be a nice match. So the only other thing I can really bring in is this piece. We'll see when I get it all back together how much I like it or don't like it. Uh, the paint's pretty nice in this car, but it's not perfect. So I'll decide then.